Have you ever wondered how the China-Africa partnership is transforming the African continent, particularly in infrastructure development? Well, today we're going to explore this fascinating subject, focusing on the impact this partnership has had on railways, roads and machinery equipment investments. From enhanced transportation networks to improved accessibility, this union is reshaping Africa's infrastructure landscape. And it's not just about the physical changes. It's a story of cooperation, shared growth and mutual development. So, let's dive into the historical context of the China-Africa partnership. To fully appreciate the current situation, we need to understand the historical context of China-Africa relations. This partnership traces its roots back centuries, fostering diplomatic, cultural and economic ties. However, in the last few decades, a significant shift has taken place. China and Africa have moved from being mere trading partners to becoming collaborators in infrastructure development. This shift was driven by China's economic rise and Africa's pressing need for infrastructure development. Today, China stands as Africa's largest trading partner, a position it has maintained for over a decade. But more than that, China has become a major player in Africa's infrastructure development, investing billions in railways, roads and machinery equipment. This partnership, driven by mutual interests and shared benefits, has transformed the landscape of Africa, paving the way for its future growth. Now, with this understanding, let's explore the impact of this partnership on railways. One of the most visible impacts of the China-Africa partnership is the development of railways across the continent. This partnership has brought about a railway renaissance in Africa, with Chinese companies playing a pivotal role in constructing modern rail networks. These aren't just any rail lines we're talking about. These are state-of-the-art high-speed railways, connecting cities and countries, and enhancing the transportation framework of the continent. Let's take for instance the railway line connecting Nairobi and Mombasa in Kenya. This high-speed rail line built by Chinese companies has significantly reduced travel time between these two major cities. But it's not just about speed. It's about connectivity, bringing people and places closer together, fostering a sense of unity and integration across regions. Railways are like the veins of a continent, facilitating the flow of goods, people and resources. The developments in railway infrastructure have made it easier for the movement of goods from the production centers to the markets, boosting trade and economic growth. People can travel to different regions for work or leisure, enriching cultural exchange and understanding. Resources can be transported more efficiently, contributing to various sectors of the economy. Moreover, these developments have led to regional integration. With better connectivity, cities and countries are no longer isolated. They're part of a larger network, a web of economic and social ties that bind the continent together. This is particularly important for Africa, a continent known for its rich diversity. The improved railway network brings this diversity closer together, fostering a sense of shared identity and mutual development. Yet it's not just railways that have seen this transformation. Let's look at the road network. What role has the China-Africa partnership played there? How has it changed the landscape of transportation and connectivity? Stay tuned as we delve into the impact on roads in the next segment. Roads are another crucial area where the China-Africa partnership has made significant strides. To understand the magnitude of this impact, let's take a journey through the vast landscapes of Africa. Imagine the once dusty, bumpy and virtually impassable terrains now transformed into smooth, safe and efficient highways. This transformation is largely due to Chinese investments. It's no secret that roads serve as the lifelines of any economy. They connect people, goods and services, making remote areas accessible and stimulating economic growth. In Africa, this reality is no different. With the China-Africa partnership, thousands of kilometers of roads have been constructed or upgraded, opening up previously hard-to-reach regions. These improved road networks have had a ripple effect on economic activity. For instance, farmers can now transport their produce to markets more quickly, reducing post-harvest losses and increasing their income. Likewise, small and medium-sized businesses have experienced a surge in trade opportunities, largely due to improved access and reduced transportation costs. But it's not just about economics. Improved roads have...
being erected. It's also about the people operating these machines, the people maintaining them, and the people learning new skills because of them. This is where the concept of skills transfer comes into play. Skills transfer is all about sharing knowledge and expertise. In the context of the China-Africa partnership, it means that Africans are not just benefiting from the infrastructure being built, but also from the skills and knowledge they're gaining in the process. By working side by side with Chinese experts, African workers are learning how to operate, maintain and even repair these machines. These new skills are invaluable, opening up new job opportunities and sparking economic growth. In a way, machinery equipment investments are not just building infrastructure, they're building people too. They're equipping Africans with the tools and skills they need to continue developing their own continent. So, while the machines may come from China, the lasting impact, the skills, the knowledge, the growth, remains in Africa. This is the power of machinery equipment investments. It's not just about the physical transformation, it's about the human transformation too. Now, let's consider the benefits and concerns of this partnership. While the benefits of the China-Africa partnership are evident, there are also valid concerns. Indeed, the impact on infrastructure development is undeniable. Railways are bridging the distance between cities, roads are opening up remote areas, and machinery equipment investments are accelerating construction. The ripple effect of these developments is remarkable, leading to economic growth, regional integration, and improved access to essential services. But along with these benefits, there are potential concerns we cannot overlook. One of the most frequently voiced worries is the issue of debt. The financial support for these projects is often in the form of loans, which raises questions about debt sustainability. Can African countries repay these debts without compromising their economic stability? This concern is not unfounded, as we've seen instances where countries had to hand over control of key assets due to inability to service their loans. Another concern is the environmental impact. Infrastructure development, while necessary, can lead to environmental degradation if not managed responsibly. This includes deforestation, pollution and disruption of local ecosystems. Therefore, it's crucial that these projects adhere to strict environmental standards to ensure sustainability. Lastly, there's a concern about the potential for uneven benefits. While these projects have undoubtedly created jobs, there's a need to ensure that local communities are not just laborers, but also beneficiaries. This means local businesses should be involved in the supply chains, and there should be skills transfer to ensure Africans can manage these projects in the future. In conclusion, the China-Africa partnership has had a profound impact on infrastructure development, but it's essential to navigate the future with caution and wisdom. Balancing the need for development with debt sustainability, environmental responsibility, and equitable benefit distribution is a complex task. But with careful planning and responsible engagement, it's a challenge that can be met, ensuring that the partnership continues to be a catalyst for positive change. We've journeyed from the historical context of the China-Africa partnership to its current impact on infrastructure development, a voyage that has taken us through the transformative power of railways, the vital importance of roads, and the silent but potent influence of machinery equipment investments. Reflecting on what we've learned, it's clear that the partnership between China and Africa has been instrumental in shaping the infrastructure landscape of the continent. The development of railways has not only connected cities and countries, but has also been a catalyst for economic growth and regional integration. The construction and upgrading of roads on the other hand, have made remote areas accessible, triggering a cascade of economic activities and opening up new trade opportunities. This has had a profound effect on the lives of ordinary people, improving their access to markets, healthcare, and education. Behind the scenes, machinery equipment investments have been a driving force, contributing to efficiency and enabling skills transfer. This has empowered Africans to participate more actively in the construction and development of their own infrastructure. As we close this chapter, let's not forget the importance of such partnerships. They are not just about infrastructure, they are about growth, progress, and ultimately, about transforming lives. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the China-Africa partnership. See you in the next video.